no way that's passing though. Look at that. There's no way that's passing. There is no way that's passing. Passing? Compression. Oh. I think he does. That's the line drive in the trees, sir. It's gonna be a little tough because I'm doing this one-handed and holding the phone at the other with the other hand. I'm not amphibious. Let's see what happens here. It's on 500. All right, that's 1750. It's an ASA tester, so I got a conversion chart here. So 1750 is 288. The ball's coming off that back good right now. Like, look, that's three in a row. Yeah. That. What's going on, everybody? Got ourselves the 2022 Moss Athletics Trip and Torch, the very first ever U-Triple-S-A bat from Monsta. It's a two-piece bat with the M8 composite. It has You can get these in sizes from 25.5 ounces all the way to 28. Um, when you get your load, you have a choice between a balanced load or an end load, and their end loads are half-ounce end loads. You can also choose which handle stiffness you can you want, like the 3500 handle or the 4500 handle. And this is approved for USSA, of course, and ISA and NSA. Um, the one I pre-ordered was a 26 ounce with a half ounce end load. Uh, we also got the um, 3500 handle. So we scaled this in at 25.1 ounces. It came in on the end load at 16.5 and the handle at 8.2. Um, I've got Chad josh and myself out here at bond park in Cary, north carolina um we're hitting a mix of balls of some pro m's some classic m's some evil icons and even a, a few evil bp rockets in there also um guys we we got this bat and i hit this we all did on the weekend of the fourth of july and we didn't uh we weren't blown away by it at first but we were hitting it was really hot and the balls were mush, and we were like, huh. So we hit on a Saturday. We came back on a Sunday, and I was like, um, I got there before everybody else did, and I was like, I'm going to take some swings off the tee, you know, and just got kind of get warmed up waiting on the guys. And I pulled out the yeah, torch, the, the, the tripping, and I took a few swings off the tee, and I was like, man, I said, we got to get this bat another try. Um, it's like we didn't like, you know, we didn't think the bat was bad, but it just didn't blow us away. But we also thought the balls were trash. So we didn't hit it that Sunday because I had another review to do that day. But we came back out the next weekend. We were like, hey, let's just try this bat again. Um, of course, sure enough, we pulled it out. And from swing one, man, the bat was just better. Um, of course, it was broken in more. Um, you saw what it tested first thing in the wrapper. It tested at 288. Um, it just it felt better. Now, this day that we're hitting, it was hot also. But um, the ball, the bat just performed a little better. Uh, I believe we said it was 288 when it tested. Well, the guys, we were hitting it. And at the end of the video, you'll see Josh and sit there. And me and him were kind of like arguing uh, about how the bat was going to test. And he was like, right. he's like, there's no way this bat passes. And I was like, man, I don't know. I was like, because I've swung a many of bats. And I get to test bats because I have a tester. And I can tell you nine times out of ten if a bat's going to pass or not i can just i have a feel for it i don't know how i don't hit hard or anything i don't know anything but i know if a bat's going to pass or not most of the time and i was like oh, i don't know man i think this will pass and they didn't they didn't know you know they didn't think it would so i was like all right well i left my tester at work i'm gonna head to work late after we hit and um you know i'll test it there so got to work texted the guys back and i was like man you ain't gonna believe what this bat tested at and they're like what and i was like it tested at 270 so they were like, man, that bat's a tank. You know, they're like, because we put a punt, ton of swings on it, and the ball is just jumping off it. And, and the one thing we did notice that this bat has a little, it feels a little more flexier than, say, some of your other bats. It's not 2,500 handle flexy, but maybe just got a little more flex in the handle, especially um, this bat to us seems like it has a bigger sweet spot. The sweet spot's more toward the end of the bat. So that being said, when you hit it at the end, you'll feel the flex a little bit more sometimes. Um, but not so much that you couldn't swing the bat, like it was affecting our swing or anything. Um, we all liked the bat, man. Um, we came away, you know, like, you know, it's got a, we didn't never, we never got rung up. Um, 
I do think if you try to, I would love to try a 4,500 handle on this, but um, I do think that um, if we try to 4,500 handle, you might feel a little, you know, feedback, but not a ton. Um, but I would like to try that because we felt so much flex with these handles because I feel like sometimes, in my opinion, I feel like you can swing out of your shoes with a 4,500 handle or, you know, a stiffer handle bat. Kind of like, you know, when you swing a Demarini with a stiff alloy handle. You can just swing out of your shoes where you don't swing as hard as you can with a flexier handle. But I could be wrong. That's just my theory. But um, overall, guys, we enjoyed this bat. We had fun hitting it. I mean, for their first ever U Plus A bat, I know they've waited a long time to get approved for it. And, um, you know, we got to tip our hat to them guys, man, because they made a good bat. And Carl knows what he's doing, of course, when he makes bats. So he makes the best ASA bat. So, um would I swing this? Absolutely. The guys, they said they would. They, they thoroughly enjoyed it. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And, hey, if you like this video, hit the like button. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. I wish this was the shit you would leave in the video. I would crack up so much. If you could just talk shit about us the entire video, that'd be yeah.